Hello guys and welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. We're going to get straight into today's video. I'm going to have some cleaning motivation for you, some decorating hacks, some rearranging. The itch to switch has definitely come over me but being stuck inside has made it really hard so we're just going to be shopping our homes. So I hope you guys need some extreme motivation today. But I'm going to start off just by putting all of our groceries away. We had just done our Walmart grocery pickup um, and we brought everything in and I did Santa everything before I started filming but if you're new here I would love for you to subscribe and join my family here all you have to do is click that red button down below and then click all notifications so it'll alert you every time I post a video because I'd love to have you but I'm just gonna go ahead and get all this put away and then we'll start some cleaning So like I mentioned, I did sanitize everything before I started to put it away. That's like the new normal now. I can't imagine not ever doing that. And then I also start with all like my freezer items or refrigerator items just so those don't go bad sitting out. And then I can start to work on every other thing that needs to go. I always get asked a lot, where do I keep all my food? Um, since we don't have a pantry, I just consider our island our pantry and then a few of our cabinets and it works out really well. I'm not a big fan of cooking so we don't keep a ton of food in the house. So if somebody were not to have a pantry, it can totally be me. <laughs> um, I had one in my last house and it was super small and I enjoyed it, but it's not something that I miss a whole bunch. Um, I just kind of make it work. But now I'm gonna grab a few of the products that need to go into my bathroom and Chase's bathroom and put those away. But I noticed my laundry was heaping over. Um, I talked about laundry about uh, buying smaller baskets and it's so helpful because even when it's like heaping over the basket like this, it's still manageable because that's a small basket. So that has just been a game changer for me. But like I said, I'm gonna put these products up and then I'll head back into the kitchen. I always get asked about my overflow items when they don't fit in my containers up there. Where do I put them? They normally go in my island, but recently we have been keeping more food in our kitchen. Just with everything going on, we have been cooking more. So I did clear out some space above my microwave and we keep some overflow items up there as well, but we have never done that in the past. That's just a recent thing. And I will say it is nice to have like backups up there, like when we run out of peanut butter or like cooking spray, um, you know, like popcorn, pancake mix it's just nice that it's all up there and then we just add it to the list so I feel like there's been so much good and bad just with everything going on in the world but I'm trying to find all the good and there has been so many good things that I've learned through this experience that I'll continue to do so I just encourage you to find the positives there's always negatives and I know the longer it gets the harder it gets but definitely just look around and think of the things that you've learned that you won't be going back to I will say I can tell we are cooking so much more because we're having to unload this dishwasher all the time. I feel like I used to have days where I didn't have to, where now I feel like we run it every single day, which is fine. It's been nice and I'm thankful to own a dishwasher. That is one of the perks is I don't have to hand wash all of this by hand. So as you can see, I'm just putting all of my stuff away, all my silverware um, and just getting everything back where it belongs. And then the rest of the day as we cook and have dishes, they can just go straight into my dishwasher and it doesn't have to fill up my sink all day long. Okay, 
Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and sanitize my island just since all the groceries were on it. I mean, I sanitized it once, but it's just nice to do it again now that everything's put away. I feel like we eat at this a lot and do prepping here when we're cooking, so I just always like to make sure it's nice and clean and ready to go for the next time we need it. But I did wanna let you guys know that I will be taking off for Mother's Day this Sunday, but I will be posting that cleaning video on Monday instead, so it's just getting pushed back one day. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy your Mother's Day. I just wanted a day off where I didn't have to worry about answering comments all day. I will be over on Instagram, so I can definitely hang out with you guys there and talk to you. But as far as my YouTube video, it will not be going up Sunday. It'll be going up Monday. Okay, so I don't know if anybody else's sectional is a jungle gym, but it definitely is in my house. Between George and Savannah, they just run all over this thing. Tiger does too, but he's so light, you just don't know. <laughs> but I thought I'd go through and just kind of fluff everything up. It just takes a few seconds and it makes my living room just feel so much cleaner and put together. Um, if you see those pillows, they aren't new. They're the ones I bought from JCPenney to do on my back porch, but it has been raining and storming so much. I did not want them to get dirty. Um, so I thought I would go ahead and bring them inside, but I can't figure out where I want them. I don't know if I love them in here or not. So I thought I would go ahead and do some switching because that's what I do best. Totally shop your house right now. I'm gonna grab these gold ones. They used to be on my sectional and I almost think they go better in here because it has that touch of gold which ties in with my kitchen and all my gold features. But I'm gonna show you two pictures and kind of let you decide. Either pick the gray or the gold. Let me know down below in the comment section. So the gray is the one on the left and the gold is one on the right. Um, I feel like they both go. This one's a little more calming to me because there's less pattern and so I really like that. But this one has that gold element that I like to tie in on my sofa because there's not much gold in the living room. So let me know your opinion down below in the comments section. So as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and test the gold ones out for a few days until I get your guys' feedback, so definitely let me know. Um, I like to do that and just shop my house and try it out for a few days. Then if I don't like it, all I have to do is switch it back, but I let it just kind of settle in and see if I like it. I really am liking it this way, but I also think the other way is super calming as well, so I'll let you guys decide what I need to do. But now I'm gonna head back into my laundry room and go ahead and get that load started. And like I said, it's overflowing, but this basket's so small, everything still fits in so I'm really loving the smaller laundry basket thing it's just really helped me out Okay, I had finished a load of my cleaning cloths the night before, but I didn't fold them. I just completely forgot about it. So I'll do it right now since I saw them. Um, I get lots of questions about how I clean my rags. So I clean them all the same way and I like to run them together. So if they're my Jaws cleaning cloths, my e-cloth, and even just my kitchen rags, um, I run them all together just so I can kind of make a full load so I'm not just running like two or three rags at a time. But I throw them all in together. I run it on like just the normal setting and I try to do hot. Sometimes I forget and it's like warm, but um, I do try to do all my towels on hot and then just no softener. And that's mainly for the e-cloth rags. Um, but if you forget, it's okay, it's happened to me. I've had my rags over five years and I've forgotten to put softener in. They still work fine. I won't go ahead and use them and then the next time I just remember not to, but just try to be aware, just throw them all in together on hot, use your normal detergent, just no softener. Okay, as soon as I'm done folding, I like to put everything back in the basket and put it away immediately. I don't want clean clothes or clean towels just sitting out and then you don't know if they're dirty or clean. So I just immediately go to whatever area and put it away. 
Um, I keep all my rags in here together and I keep them in two separate drawers. If you stay tuned just a little bit longer, I'm gonna show you what these look like and how I fold them to put them in these drawers and you can see how I organize them. Okay, so here is how they turned out. I did want to mention my Monday video is going to be an organizing video. So if you want to see how I organize and some of the spaces that I need to work on, because not all look this good right now, I need to go back and work on some spaces. Definitely make sure you're subscribed. And it's also a really cool collab with an amazing YouTuber here on YouTube. So I would love to see you guys on Monday. So definitely make sure you're subscribed and ready to watch. Okay, so I have two curtain hacks I wanna share with you today in this video. You're gonna see one right now and then one at the end, so definitely make sure you stay until the very end. Um, this is a hack I picked up from over on Vassar Beauty. I love her channel. She does the best hacks and tips and tricks. If you're not following her, definitely check her out, but I wanted to share this one with you guys. Um, all you do is cut up a um, paper towel roll, and then I'm gonna show you how I use them on the curtains. I did wanna mention though, I didn't really make these wide enough. Um, I need to go back and do it so you guys can kind of see the size I'm doing. Make it a little bit wider and I think it'll work better but it still turned out amazing. So we're going to head into my master bedroom. These are the curtains I'm going to try it out on because they drive me crazy. We open and shut these a lot because we like to close them at night and then open them up in the morning. So and excuse my bed I haven't made it for the day. I promise I'll make it here in a little bit but I'm going to just start off by taking my curtains down and then taking the curtains off the rod and all you do is put those um, you know little rolls in between the gatherings and you do it about every two um, holes because you don't want them to see on the front you just want them to be on the back and it spaces out your curtains so well I can't wait for you to see the after when I first did this first one I was a little underwhelmed but once I got it completely finished I was super happy with it if I would have made them a little bit wider it would have been even better but definitely stay till the end of this one I want you to see the after. Like I mentioned earlier, I was really underwhelmed when I got that first set done, but I am gonna show you a side-by-side -side so you can see the ones that I actually added those little cones in there. Um, it looks good, it doesn't look great. Like I said, if I think I made them wider, it look, would look so much better, but here is the other side so you can tell a difference. Um, I didn't notice the big impact until I was completely done with both. So like I said, definitely stay until the end of this so you can see how it turned out. It does look more uniform and put together and it takes you know zero dollars because you have those anyways from using paper towels and it just takes a few minutes of putting it in so I definitely think it's worth just a little bit of effort so now I'm going to go ahead and work on this right side real quickly and then I'll show you the after of both of them the sun's going down as I try to make my Okay, so here is where I noticed the big impact. They look so much better. I just feel like before they looked super messy and the only word I can think to describe is they looked more uniformed and just, I don't know, more like they've been staged that way. So I'm super happy with this hack. Definitely try it out. And if you do, let me know if you like it over on Instagram. 
Now I'm gonna head back into my living room. Between that last clip and this clip was like an hour and Savannah like kinda acts like me sometimes and needed some change. And so we started going through all her items in her bathroom, re redecorated her bedroom a little bit. So you're gonna see me kinda clean up all this mess and all this extra stuff and find new homes for it or get rid of it. And then I'll show you how her bathroom and bedroom turned out. Sometimes we just get the itch to switch and I notice she has it too. It's so funny to see in her, like I see myself in her. <laughs> um, so we kind of switched over to this. I didn't show a lot of it. I like to give her her privacy and let her kind of work on her own because she's still figuring her style out. But I will show you how it all turns out just here in a few moments. I had my vacuum laying out from working on Savannah's bedroom, which I promise I will show you in a second. Um, but since it was out, I thought I would go ahead and vacuum this rug real quickly, just so I knew this living room was finished. This was one of those days I felt like I was just all over the place. Like I had a list and it just half of it didn't get done, but some other things got done that weren't on the list. So I felt like I was bouncing back and forth. I don't know if you can tell by this video or if it's just me because I was like living it, but I'm gonna work on this and then I will show you those clips here in a second. Um, this is not sponsored, but I do get lots of questions about my robo back and I guess I love it It's the Eufy and it is on sale right now and then you get an additional um, $30 off for Mother's Day right now I'll leave the code across the screen and I will have the link down below in my description box But if you're wanting an early Mother's Day present or you want your husband to see this Definitely let him watch this or say this is what I want because it is on major sell right now. I love this vacuum. I let it just go through my whole house. It works really well even on carpets and rugs. So like I said, I'll have all that information down below in my description box. Okay, and here are all the afters after cleaning up that explosion that happens. <laughs> it always gets worse before it gets better, but that was my dining room. Um, this is our guest bathroom, and then we're gonna head on into Savannah's space. So she had been wanting a gray comforter, but I wanna make sure she likes it before we order one, and so I had that on my bed underneath my like current comforter, and so I told her, let's just put it on there. If you like the color, we know to order you one, or if you wanna go darker or lighter. So definitely just shop your home first and try it out for a few days. And then if you don't like it, you didn't waste money. And I just feel like that's a really smart way to decorate. We also did give her a little makeup area just cause she doesn't really like standing up and getting ready in her bathroom. So now she can just sit down in her room and get ready. This is how I got ready for so many years. Even when we first got married, I would always sit down to get ready. So I love that she has that little space now and she's super happy with her, the way her room turned out. We'll see if it lasts. She likes to change her comforter as much as I like to change my pillows. <laughs> <laughs> so there's always just this constant change. But since we were like going through some of the spaces, any of the stuff that needed to be put away in this room or that I needed to work on, I went ahead and just made a pile. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working on all these items and finding them a new home. Okay, most of these items right here are swimsuits, but they were like a few winter socks, and then my slips were in here as well that needed to go um, in my other drawer. Do any of you ladies still wear slips? I was raised when you have a dress, you have a slip on. I have like a white, a nude, and a black. So let me know if you still own your slip or if that's like super old fashioned. But like I said, I'm just gonna go ahead and put those items away. Um, I did have like an extension cord in my closet. Who knows why? <laughs> Today was just like a super crazy day. Um, I'm gonna chalk it up because it was my first day wearing color in like so many years and I think it just made the whole day crazy. And speaking of crazy, I'm gonna grab my swimsuits and take them to my living room because that's where our dresser is. 
Um, if you guys have been following me for a while, this used to be in our bedroom and then I wanted it in here as a TV stand, but I haven't found a dresser for um, Chase's closet. And so yes, I keep my bathing suits in my living room right now. So that's just the way life is. I'm hoping that I can eventually find a good deal in a dresser. I don't wanna buy one new, I wanna find it used. And it's really hard since there's not like crowd sales right now. And I've noticed even like Craigslist and like Facebook marketplace just don't have as many items. I don't think people want to be meeting and I don't blame them. So until then, I'm gonna have bathing suits in my living room. It's just life. <laughs> Okay, now that everything is back in its home, I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum the floors. I do this every single day, sometimes even twice a day back here. It just kind of sets the mood and tone for this room. And this is where I spend a lot of hours editing right there at that desk. And when I walk into a space and it's clean and clutter free and has vacuum lines, like I said, it just sets the tone and the mood and I get so much more work done and I'm so much calmer <laughs> and um, I can spend time editing and being a mom. But when I come into a space and it's crazy. It seriously makes me crazy. So I've learned just to keep these rooms the best way so I can work hard and be a good mom and not be stressed out all the time. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the next curtain hack and I'm gonna show you all the supplies I need. This is definitely later in the evening um, and I'm showing you those curtains are way too long. I think I've mentioned them quite a few times but I haven't been able to figure out a solution or anything but I talked about my last video and somebody was like, you can cut those and hot glue them and I was like, what? I had just read that comment so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go inside and try this. So I am cutting them a little bit longer because you can always go shorter, but you can't go longer. So definitely be super careful with that. I did show that you need an iron. You don't need that. I have lost my mind. I guess since I pulled out my ironing board, I thought I would need my iron. But all you need basically are scissors if you're gonna cut it and then a hot glue gun and that's it. I pulled out my ironing board just so I kind of had a workspace, but you definitely don't have to do that. On this first one, I am cutting off and then gluing it, and I'm gonna show you how I do that. Basically, it's just like making a seam so it's not that rough edge, and you're just gonna start on one side and glue and then fold down. I will say on my other ones, I did it a little bit different, so you can watch how I do this one, and then I'll show you how I figured it out a little bit later. Also, thank you so much for leaving me a comment and letting me know you can do it this way. I've been dying to get this done. I'm talking four years. I've had these curtains in my house four years and I always find an excuse not to do it. Um, I knew there was like a no sew ironing thing, but I always forget to buy it. But I feel like everybody has scissors and a hot glue gun. This would have been easier if you had like an actual size glue gun. This one's from the Dollar Tree. Um, so it's just really small and it works really well on most things. But if you're gonna be doing a lot of curtains, um, and most of you probably have a normal size glue gun anyways, but I am happy with the results. I'm going to show you what it looks like at the end, but like I said, I'm just going to put a little glue and then push it down and I'm going to do that all the way across. It's so simple and easy. I seriously wish I would have known about this like four years ago. I belong, I belong to you. Okay, so I'm testing that for the first time and dropping it down. I felt like it was still a little long. It's not horrible because I like them to like puddle a little bit, but I wanted them a little bit shorter. So I'm gonna go through one more time and do about that same length. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue um, and then fold it down. What is that? Probably an inch or a little bit less just because I knew I had a little bit more room. But that was my theory is I could always go shorter, but I can't go longer. So it's worth it just to go a little bit. Now, if you want to do this the right way, you would take them down, measure them, do all that fancy stuff, but I don't have time to do that. You may not have time to do it. I felt like this worked. It was to the point and I'm happy with how it turned out. So like I said, I'm going to shorten these just a little bit and then I'll show you how this one turns out. Thank you. 
Okay, and here is the final product on the first one. I am gonna be doing the rest of them, but I wanted you just to kind of see the progress. I love that it just kind of drapes the ground, but it's not like wadded up like the rest of them are. It just looked so messy to me and they would get so dirty. So this was just such an easy hack. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for sending this. Now on these, I just got a little, I wanna say smarter, but it's probably lazier and I didn't wanna cut them. So I just folded up as much as I needed to and glued it there. That way, if they did go too short, I could have just like ripped the glue apart. So I really think um, this is probably the better way so you don't really mess up your curtains and have to buy new ones. So I would just kind of guess like down on the floor where I wanted it to hit and I would fold it up there and then I would glue that whole section up. So I really think that's the way to go unless you do want to cut it. But since this is like behind my sectional, you can't tell anyways. And this leaves a lot less room for error and I was just happy with the way it turned out. Okay, I'm gonna show you how these turned out here in a second, but I wanted to thank you so much for watching today's video and hanging out with me. I'm gonna have a new vlog up on Friday on our vlog channel, and then I have that awesome video coming out Monday that's a collab, so definitely do not miss either of those. I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.